How you going, you big bloody beautiful bastards? Here's me face. I have been getting inundated with messages about Kano from the new Mortal Kombat movie. All of you legends out there are like, oh, what do you think of what do you think of Kano, Aussie man? Aussie man, have you watched Mortal Kombat? You seen you seen Kano yet? Oh, Kano, he was just like you. He's like you, Aussie man. Bang on the Twitter, on the Instagram, on the Facebook. Constant messages about Kano. So let's do a review on Kano. Disclosure, I haven't seen the movie yet, so that's quite dodgy, because I haven't been able to. I got invited to the premiere, like everyone knows I'm pumped for it. I did the commentary video on the trailer. Kano wins, you fucking beauty. I mean, that that's perfection. And I missed it. I had a babysitter organised for the wrong day, and then like we're in lockdown in Perth, because of the coronavirus, there's a mask as evidence that we're in lockdown. You know shit's gotten real when a mask ends up on your desk. Now we're in lockdown, the cinema's not open, I can't watch it. We don't really get HBO Max, the Americans don't share that, so... I'm a bit fucked and I'm get, I've been getting messaged about it so much. Look at this, OMG, 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 I can't wait to see what Aussie Man has to say about Kano. Um, have to say, you did an amazing job in the new Mortal Kombat movie as Kano. I could just start saying thank you. I could just be like, thanks guys, thanks, thank you. I worked hard. I did 12 hour days, I was away from family. Yeah, I had to train for six months in advance with the same training guy that did John Wick, maybe, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't work hard. Josh Lawson worked hard. He was the actor that played Kano. He's a filmmaker, actor, comedian. He's been around for a long time in Australia. He used to be on this improv comedy show called Thank God You're Here. Edge, I was hoping you uh, might be able to say a few words to them to uh, lift their spirits, maybe. Uh, chaps? <sighs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. <laughs> hey, it was fantastic. I'll put those clips in the in the post description below, so check it out. Hey mate, loved you as Kano in the new Mortal Kombat movie. Fair dinkum performance. This is fantastic. I'm getting credit for work that I haven't done at all. It was Josh that did 12 hour days. I haven't had to do any of that. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Hey Aussie man, are they gonna pay you for basing Kano around you? Yeah. <laughs> Pause? No, that's... Time out, guys. Time out. I'm not one of those guys that likes to get my audience riled up, okay? Maybe I could make a video where I'm like, they stole from me, and everyone would be like, ah, oh, something's been stolen. Nothing has been stolen, okay? Ozploitation as a genre has been around for a long time. It's a pastime. Bang! More pictures. Look at all these wankers have been around in terms of like, ozploitation. A big no, I'm not owed anything by anyone. And I'm not going around saying that I fucking own something. That's just, you're an absolute wanker if you think you own being Australian. Absolute arrogant fucking tosser. If somebody thinks that they own being Australian, they're being a fucking, they're being a bit, a bit dodgy. They're being up themselves. Anyway, there are some Kano fan videos starting to be made. Potato quality compilations on YouTube. So that's what I'm going to use for now. Kano. Sitate. I was about to go for a stroll, but maybe I'll stick around, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I instantly love the sarcasm. I'm a fan of sarcasm and lots of Australians are. You got friends? Hey, fuck you, pretty boy. I'm a popular guy. Everyone loves me. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna draw a line there. That was nasty. That was that was that was pretty nasty. I have never hawked phlegm or spat on a gnome. It's not something I go around doing. That's very rude. I'm a, I'm a bit vulgar. I'm a bit crass. But uh, yeah, I got my limits. I'm I'm quite polite. Once you get to know me, I'm I'm very I'm a very polite bloody person. So yeah, I feel like Kano is just this extra level of vulgarity. That, uh, that's, that's pretty nasty, really. So I'm gonna differentiate myself. I'm gonna distance myself from Kano in that regard. You just shot a fireball out of your hand. How'd you do that? Does that mean I'm gonna get superpowers at any point? It does, doesn't it? There's much to learn. The fuck? I love the tone he's playing with. I can tell this from the fan video compilation that he wants superpowers and he's got this almost childish <laughs> enthusiasm for it which is playing dead serious but then he pulls you out of this world where it's not serious it's fiction and you want to take the piss out of it the person that can that can voice 
what the audience might be thinking or what they want to say or you know take the piss out of a serious moment where the music and the orchestral music swells and then it's like the fuck it's good it's fantastic no harry potter shit all right that the only movie you know mate <laughs> ah, oh fuck <laughs> Ah, that's brilliant. I love the joke of pushing the wrong button and doing the same move over and over. These these are crowd pleasers. Those are crowd pleaser jokes. You getting enough sleep, mate? Your eyes are a little redder than usual. You working for the other fella, that wizard. <laughs> I love the idea that he just doesn't shut up. And that's, that's similar to me. Any Ozploitation character is going to have that. It's going to have this voice that just cuts through and for some people it's very cringe for many australians it could be very cringe i feel like every australian kind of does it when we travel places you want to be that australian that's special that's like oh i'm from australia you get extra loud you get even though you're probably a person that's like it's so cringe when the australian accent gets too bombastic it's so cringe and then you probably go to thailand or something and you're like oh yeah give us another man singer we kind of lean into it we all do. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I feel like so many Australians go around leaning into that since Wolf Creek in 2005. If we can, if we can make a party awkward and say something a bit weird and then go... <laughs> then we love it. It's a great party. Is he on our side? Oh, those are great, mate. They make those in men's sizes? Top knot. The end. What's his name? Kung Pao. Pass the fucking egg roll, would you? People will say, oh, all Australians are racist. You know, they're racist. Australians are racist. I feel like he's kind of leaning into that a bit with the Kung Pao thing and, you know, the stereotyping of other cultures. That's the benefit of working in a fictional world again. Like, I've had to be careful with what I say as I get bigger because people see it. I'm working with real footage that real people are in. So if I say something that's really too mean or too harsh, they're gonna, they're gonna know within a couple of hours. You know, six degrees of separation, even with seven billion people. I've had two instances in seven years where someone who's in a video has reached out and said, oh, can you take that down? It was a bit embarrassing for me. And I say, yes, you don't wanna give anyone social anxiety over something on the internet, you know. Aussie man's positive, it's fun, it's meant to be positive and fun. Even in destination fact videos, when they're doing something outright stupid and I could say, you are a fucking idiot, I refrain. Oh gee, what a surprise. I'm thoroughly surprised that this mammal has a concussion. And you know what, that ends up funnier. So it ends up as a win. It ends up as a big win for me to be sensitive. Well, how about I take that stupid fucking sombrero you wear and shove it so far up your ass you start speaking Spanish? How does that sound? You're angry. Oh, fucking nothing gets by you, does it? And who are you two, huh? You some fucking... <laughs> All right, difference between Kano and Aussie Man. He's more hot-headed than me. He is more of an Australian hothead than me. I, no, he is. I'm still pretty chill. Cave dweller, hippie, twirling his anal beads, taking orders from this wushu wanker who wears a hubcap as a helmet. Pass me a fucking egg roll. <sighs> that was it, wasn't it? You all saw that. <laughs> ah, laser beam! It's better than fireballs, you pussy. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. He looks like a strong character to me. I'm so excited to see it. That's it, everyone. All right, see ya. Bye, bye, bye.